a hello, a YouTube, and a welcome to today's rendition of Ranked Joust with Cosmos and Attire. Today we are hitting the duo queue. Uh, we are playing Jing Chen today because he's on the list of new things to play. He got uh, a buff this this patch, it was the patch being today, uh, or at least that's when this video is recorded. Uh, he gets uh, stacks on his passive now. They uh, not only give him HP 5, but they give him max HP based on his level. You can see that real quick here. He gets uh, 5 plus 1 for level stacks or HP. Temporary health stacks from his passive. Which is really, really solid early game and scales well into the late. As well as um, his HP 5 is now uncapped. So you could get like 200, 300 HP 5 in some scenarios as Xing Chen. We won't be leaning too hard into that one. We'll be mainly looking for uh, getting that max HP and building like a normal Xing Chen would. But we might invest in some uh, extra HP 5 items depending on how this goes. But for a double warrior or guardian or warrior guard, don't care. I don't care. Me no care. Just pick a good god against what they got, and I think we'll be all right. That Terra was kind of juicy. Cruising Bow would be good. Atlas always good. There are a lot of good options for you here. Kabrakken. A lot of good characters. You know, we just have so happened to get Lunfail on our team, who is a member of the Twitch chat, where this is being streamed right now, this game. Looks like we may be against the same opponents. How are we feeling about that? Heron, Najah, Persephone. Pretty solid draft from the opposition, if I do say so myself. But we don't have a bad draft ourselves. We've got a nice CC between uh, the Terra and the Terra. And um, then we got Jing Chen. Just a guy being a dude existing. I'm going to be getting a Mystical Mail for sure this game so that I can actually deal damage. It's going to be nice. All right, we are against the same three people we were in the last video where we got uh, the E-set to go crazy. I should have just gone E-set again, dude. It would have been crazy, crazy. But we will be going the Jing here. Hopefully, we'll be able to feel the strength of this character's buffs. It's okay, money. So we'll go the usual. We'll go with Thebes. And then we'll go Axe, I think. Jing Chen is a safe enough character that I could just go Sands of Time, though. In fact, I think I will. I think we're going to go Sphinx's Baubles, Jing Chen, perhaps. Love the content? Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Gaia? I could rush Stone of Gaia. What if I go Stone of Gaia Warriors X? I mean, they don't really have any ways to proc Gaia, though, so... I don't think I will be going Gaia. But we will try Warrior's Axe. I haven't messed around a lot with Warrior's Axe Jing, actually. Actually, Shmi, actually. I don't have a lot of experience there. Okay. Got that. We got that. Horrific. I don't really need to sprint that bad against that team. Would be good, though. One through the wall. Alright, got everything. Nice. Ready for ready, baby. And I'll pick that up. Why not? Alright, so Thebes is first. And then we're gonna figure out what we do with the rest of it. I'm just gonna run at this guy to start off. Okay, I gotta sash out. That's what I'm looking to do against a Naja every time, is just pressure him hard early. And then straight to the purple. Don't waste any time. And this guy should be dead. I'm down to go for kills over buff. Uh, we should clear this wave and grab the buff as soon as possible. I'm not sure what he was thinking was going to happen there. Definitely a conk player, not a jazz player. Oh, the Terra purple buff? That's actually got to be OP. There's so much prep time. Yeah, they added 15 seconds to um, 
the Jazz start. So it's now, instead of 45 seconds before game starts, it's 60. Right. He missed his Charon thing. This guy has no beads. He's just dead. Oh, yeah. This one might already be over. <laughs> I don't even really have a reason to leave. My T2 isn't that important for this Thebes. And the red buff is, like, you know, it was 20 seconds off spawning, so we can just stay here, get the red. We have such a nice lead that we can just grab uh, this for free and then back for full Thebes. I'll just keep this guy off. Yeah, nice. They are going to hit level 5 soon, so I'm actually going to double pot here. I might get Persephone open. Use the rock to hide. Okay, nice. They should have Persephone ulted that. This Jing or Nagal's gonna hit level 5. I gotta be kinda careful. Alright, we'll be jumping away. Nagal is still not level 5. <laughs> That's huge. I could have sold my multi pot maybe and waited for a Chalice, but. 212 gold, I think I saw. Alright, I'm heading over. I don't want them to just take our blue, actually. Yes. I'll use my jumps to get here. Yeet! I have my ult in a second. Break that real fast. This guy has no beads, no ult. Oh, he might have ult. Oh yeah, he does have ult. I'll eat this, whatever it is. Yeah. Huge. I think I saved his life. And I just lost all my Thieves tags. <laughs> I'm so bad at Smite. I hate it here. Alright, I'm gonna go, um... I'm gonna go Talisman second. Or not Talisman. I'm gonna go Mystical second. Less so for the protections I get from the item, and more so for just up the straight-up damage I'm gonna get from this. I find Mystical to be very, very good for Jing Chen, because he doesn't do a lot of uh, damage inherently. So this is a way to be like the super safe character that I am, Jing Chen, you know, very hard to single this guy out. While also uh, gaining a bunch of damage into my build and still getting a tank in this item. I'm just going to go over here while they get the purple because I don't think they need me. Jaws died twice in two hits. Yeah, he's a bit of a beast. I'm going to have to give them this eventually. But if I can stall, maybe I won't. Yeah, nice. Fantastic. No is I did take a lot of poke for that. So I am kind of lower. I do have my Jing Chen passive though, which is running out, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll level my two here. I wanna just I'm just gonna use my jumps here. I'm just gonna throw them away. Oh, he beats. Dang. He just accidentally killed him. Alright, we can break this fast. You completed. And we're just dealing the Schmeet right now. I'm gonna go check this. And then get a back off. Completed. <laughs> and we got a nice lead cooking here. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be nice. She missed so much here, the Persephone. Well, I guess she's the only she, huh? Huge. Great place for the squad. We just have really good control right now. And our ability to just kind of just kind of hit them. Without even trying. So it's working out super nicely. And I've got a lot of HP with a Jing passive. Pretty sick. Later on it'll be more important for me to get those passive stacks if I can. So like it's just I'm super incentivized to just hit people anytime I see the opportunity. It also does help to have more CDR build, but I'm going to go for more of a classic Jing build that will allow me to deal more damage. That's what I'm looking for right now. All right, really nice poke from the roar there. I'm actually top everything, and I don't even have Mystical yet. Is Jing Chen OP? He might just be. Yeah, the change that Jing got is something that if you're like a bad character, 
the change doesn't really do much. But since Jing is already, he was already a decent character, this is huge for him. I think their blue buffs actually up, by the way. Yeah, it is. I have Scepter. I kill this pretty quickly. Kind of want to scoop this guy. This is huge. But we're just keeping the pressure on, and that's how you win on this Jazz map. Keep that. And now we go. Completed. Be right back. Look at that. Easy lives for us. All right, I'll get this. this will be good for me. Get a ward. And uh, I'm gonna go Talisman of Energy next. No, You're fine, dude. You're fine. I got Mystical and Scepter, so I can kill this real quick. Yeah, I'm just being a good teammate, protecting you. Know what I'm saying? All right, does he get that? I think he gets that red freely. That's big. Absolutely huge. Gotta check a look at that purple in a second. All right, Max Jing passive, 62 HP 5. Only HP 5 item I have is uh, my Thebes. I'll shard here. Here is. Unfortunate. That does get pressure for the neutral farm that's up, though. That guy was a little tankier than I thought he was going to be. Can't lie. Oh my god, she almost got that. <laughs> I'm going to drop a ward on that corner there. Never know, maybe we'll go for fire or something. To help out. Give me that. I'm actually going to use an ability to keep my Jing passive going. 2300 HP right now with the passive. He snatches in, I just ult him. Jing has a pretty solid matchup here. I can eat some of this stuff. Could be out there. Yeah. And them stalling here is really nice for us, actually. Because Medusa's going to come back in a second. And now Medusa gets to do whatever he wants. He could even solo pull fire if he wanted. I'm going to go blink. And I think what this game is going to turn into is I just run at um, the Persephone. While Medusa does whatever the heck she wants. Ideally not getting killed by Naja, right? And then Terra can kind of choose her place in the fight. Accordingly. But I'm gonna... Oh, she went blink too, so we might be able to get on this Persephone together. Could be uh, valuable to get Absolution as the Terra. Unfortunately, he did kill the Genjis, which is fine, but... It would be much easier to dive if we had uh, Absolution for the Terra ult. Completely fine for him to build it the way he is, though. Go get these rocks. See these rocks? <laughs> Buff Jing Chen gameplay. Huge, right? Absolutely massive in fact. Ooh, probably have to get an erosion in this game. This Naja does not hit hard right now. Let me tell you. I really want to upgrade my blink to T2. I think I just ult this guy. Alright, double beads. Huge. Yeah. I got 73 HP 5, so... I'm looking pretty good going into this. Don't have a health chalice. They definitely know we're here. We're cool with this fight, though? I'm lacking some HP. I don't think we fight that. Alright, we fight it, but... Alright, double horrific. I am in pretty deep. Nice. I'm focusing the jaw so he can't get an ult on my Medusa, which he's about to do. Stoning these guys, I think, is the best thing that I could do right now. An ally has been slain. <laughs> I'm mystical in. It ain't working, though. Alright, we have to get out of here, I think. 
I'd love to continue fighting, but... Not much here anymore, I don't think. Protecting the tower is ideal. If we can do that, that's big. But yeah, I think that fire pole probably wasn't the best. We're fine, but... You know, just a little thing. Little setback. They're not even taking our blues, so... Not too worried about it. We'll get Talisman of Energy here. Get my health chalice, and now I'll feel a lot stronger. I need Pridwin bad, and... I really wish I could get more cooldown. So, hmm. But I do need Erosion. Someone needs Erosion. I think ideally it would be by this point we have Erosion. Because that Charon shield is actually pretty significant. Uh, uh, I'm good. Zion, you can ban that account. Pretty please. I can't reach it. Thanks. Gotta make a roll. There's this. We gotta get out of here. Ouch, 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 ouch. I can blink the Persephone. But she'll live. Problem. Scum. Scum. I only want to keep my Jing passive. Hmm. I'm still here. I don't think we can burst this super quick, though. I don't like this. I'll eat the Persephone ult, but... Right. I squinted my horrific. Really don't want them to get our tower. We are missing a few counter-building uh, items right now. That's making this a bit tougher. The erosion, big one. We don't even have a sprint of our own. We actually have double horrific, which isn't great. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It would be nice to have a sunder. Kind of wish I didn't go blink now. Because of the way these fights are playing out. But we should be able to work with it. We'll get this prid win soon and it'll be good. Because ideally I just run at Persephone, right? Oh, I just need the right angle for it. Alright, that's her ult. Now we could pull fire. Attack fire With the Persephone all being down. But we have to control the Naja. We have to fight them. We don't have a choice. And this is just so bad, dude. We're just not playing the fight very well here. Not a scale. Let's get the items. Ideally, we can just focus the Nod job first. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do here. Unfortunately, I do have the link, so... It makes it a little bit tougher to do that. But god, it's so annoying because this game just should be over already. We should have won by this point, and it's kind of making me angry. Alright. That's okay, though. Well, um... Oh, I'm very close to upgrading this naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Once I get the Pridwin, be a really good spot. And last item. Uh, I think Terra's gonna make me buy Erosion, unfortunately. But I will have to buy it, because the, the shield is too much. Shield is too freaking much, dude. Okay, got his beads. Okay, and that's really good. We got a lot of... A lot of their stuff. We should be able to kill them off this. Maybe. Brutal. I'm gonna tank this for a bit. 
Nice work. Huge! Alright, we should be able to get their tower off this. I have that Jing Chen HP5. Gotta keep it going, though. Huge. Nice. And I can eat some of this. I have my blink up again. I'm gonna dodge some stuff and then I'm in there. Aegis? Okay. We can go fire or we can just kill the Phoenix. We can just kill the Phoenix, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. No, we do. I wonder if I get a passive stack of hitting this rock. I do. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, we're out of there. Pridwin's online. Nice work. We'll get explosive bread. Where is the Gaia? No Gaia? Dude, you really think I'm gonna get Gaia so that I can counter the enemy Naja ult? Nah, I'm not stupid. You guys can be stupid, but I won't. I will refuse to be stupid. I'm just gonna run at this guy. He's the only one that can really turn a fight for them. Did he ult? Or he beads? I didn't see. Pull this, poke it a bit. I'm getting hurt here. Why me, man? What in the world is that guy thinking was gonna happen there? <laughs> Terrific this. Give him a little flipsy. Flipsy doodle. And it's walking and end the game. Huge. <laughs> the OP second passive. Yeah, because we need that bad. Shiver called you stupid. No, no, I wasn't calling you stupid in particular. I was calling building Stone of Gaia stupid. That was the only stupid thing there. I'm not playing the item with only half of the item, bro. Come on now. GG, GG's. Yeah. So, got a lot of done with the Jing Chen there. Um, hmm. Do I feel weird about that build? I feel like it might have been sick to get Fridwin earlier. Like, maybe second after the Thieves. It did feel weird to not have all that CDR, but... I mean... I was almost top damage because of Mystical Mail, so it's pretty good. I had infinite mana with the Talisman. I was definitely, like I said, more leaning into the uh, second part of the Jing passive buff where he can uh, gain the max HP stacks from the passive, right? So I had a whole lot of HP 5. Didn't do any, like, super meme -y overcapped hp5s anything right because none of my items give hp5 except for the thieves so didn't get the crazy like 200 300 hp5 going but i find it highly unnecessary to do that in the first place maybe it makes a good youtube short or something but i think playing jing chen normally is your best bet stone of gaia definitely has a place in the jing chen build if it's uh useful as an item overall in the game but seeing as the only way i get a proc is if naja ults me I'm not feeling that that's that sick. In fact, I don't even know if I do get a proc if Naja ults me. That's a banish. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Jing felt pretty strong. Definitely a big fan. Would have finished that build, I think, with Erosion. I kind of wish I didn't go blink and that I'd gone Sunder instead, honestly. Because we were just, like, killing the front line is just the safest thing to do. Like, I can kill a Persephone. But the opportunity never really came to fruition. And it's just a lot safer to just kill the Naja. So, that's what I ended up doing. And uh, the Blink did not help out with that at all. So, I honestly should have gone Sunder instead of Blink. And gone last item, Chronos Pendant. To have max CDR, finish the Sundering Axe, and just be like a real annoyance of the Naja. That's all I need to do that game. And just piss that guy off to the point where he never gets to find a comfortable ult on the Medusa. And then he just never plays the game. And I out DPS him because I have Mystical and I have more cooldowns because I've got Chronos Pendant. And he can't even build that item. So, yeah, that's what we were going for there. Uh, controlled the game well. There are definitely some gripes I had with possible build paths from the squadron, but at the end of the day, 
We all made mistakes. I messed up with the blink and stuff. Like, you know, bleh, bleh. It wasn't the greatest, but Jing Chen. Do not be distracted from the fact that this character feels very, very strong right now. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Learned a few things about the Jing Chen. Uh, got some insight into how I like to play him. And don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll catch you in the next one with our next OP character.